Hi everybody, it's Bia from Bia Quilter. I was gonna, I had something else in mind for this tutorial today, but then um, I figured, I started looking at this. Have you ever tried the uh, start with quick quilt project button here? I don't know, I, ne I never used it even in eight. I never really used it in seven. So, but let me show you what I found. So let's say I start with a quick quilt. There's easy quilts here, but look, if you then go forward, there's a whole bunch of quilts here. Rails. You can do a log cabin. This one's nice. Traditional log cabin. Ooh, funny. Big log cabin. I remember that one. There's medallion quilts where you start from the center and work your way out. Quite a, some nice ones here. New York Beauty. Ooh. That is something I haven't done much of. One patch quilts. You can have your hexagons for the grandmother's flower garden with border, or you can do tumblers, tumbler flag, or diamonds, or rather triangles, um, isosceles triangle, I think it's called. And this one, snowball. That's more like um, English paper piecing. That would take forever. This quilt labels. How funny is that? So that's something you can do and you can print it out uh, on your printer on uh, fabric paper and then just put it on the back of your quilt. Easy peasy. Look at that, how cute. Quilts with sashing. I don't know, I like doing quilts with sashing. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I tend to just do the plain old whatever strips in the middle. But this one, it's still sashing. See, it's actually the star here that's the sashing, so it's an uneven nine patch. And that's a fun one. Storm at Sea. Who doesn't love that? How cool is that? The heart one. I remember that one. And here it has um, the monkey wrench that looks like a wave on the border. I always like the rainbow quilts that go from the inside out. And this one, strip quilts. It's a vertical strip. And here you have vertical strips, but then it adds a border all the way around. Horizontal strips. Oh, that's very modern. At first I didn't notice the border, but there you go. Oh, Borgello. That's a fun one. Flowers. And there's table runners. See how they didn't they omitted the border. How fun is that? Little American flags. Very simple. That you can make on the AccuQuilt cutter. T-shirt quilts. Look at this. I thought this was really neat. Go Bobcats. Where are the Bobcats? I don't know. T-shirt quilts don't just have to be you know, plain. They can have blocks in between. That's neat. Or stars, or every other block. Yeah, I like this one. All mixed matched around. My original idea was, let's just open this one, was actually to show you borders. So, you normally start here and you can add your blocks, you can design, you can use your fabrics. The auto border is something that was kind of hidden in EQ7. Now it's pretty much right in your face. <laughs> so you can put it on here and boom, it shows up. Or another one, there's a pull down menu with stripes or different ones. Let's see here, diamonds, fancy. Let me actually go in and find another quilt in the sketchbook. So it's. Let me see here. <laughs> okay, this one is more um, what I was looking for. So this one, let's see what the layout is. So 10 inches. Let's say you want. I don't know. Nine patch on the border. 
it's four blocks but it's 10 inches so let's go in under borders right here if I added that if I want to make it maybe five inches and then I'll do eight blocks then the math should be right that it's 90 degrees See? I don't know it's probably bad choice with this stripey block let me go ahead and just add uh, let me see here what they got in the sketchbook well now they got the borders okay just a plain nine patch there you go just like the border there it's a little better pleasing to the eye but anyway so you can let me see here it should keep the uh, eight borders now if I add this yeah it did so now I got my math right I can then sit and play with how many of them or which design I want and keep going one tool that I played a lot with recently was the swap tool it's just really neat how you can then go in and it swaps it on all of them let me see here if I didn't do it there. So now it's kind of, well, it's still not pretty with the big nine patches, but you get the idea. I swapped the colors. I changed the borders. If you want to do something different, let's see. Pick it. That's fun. It's still keeping the same math that I had before. I think it's just that nine patch in the middle that looks a little weird but there's lots of different Ooh, oh that is tiny well I don't know if that would be one two three four five six into a ten inch block yeah that's tiny I'm not even gonna try and do the math on that well we can go back let's see here if I go back and do keep width and height equal and do 12. Then I got to do the border 6, right? There we go. Now these should be, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 2 inch little diamond block, uh, 1 inch logs here. Let's see if it matches up. Yeah, so that's 6 by 6. Let's see if we print the rotary cutting. Oh, yeah. I had my borders all off. Yeah, one and a half, four and a half. Ooh, one and five sixteenth. I don't like that. I would probably change that or round it up or down or trim it after it's done. Actually, I probably, probably wouldn't even use that small. But anyway, so you saw the. If I do the, the home button, start with quick quilts. There's some ideas to get you going. We also looked at the border tool. Auto border, where is it? Design, there we go. Auto border and the fabric swap tool. So now I can go in, let me do it again. There we go. See, I can't help coloring. Ah, a little better. Oh yeah, let's try the randomize. I'm sure you've tried it before. Like that. It's not really something I use a lot, but it just can inspire you. After you've clicked it too many times, it just goes kind of muddled. Oh, well, this is actually very kind of American. Red, white, and blue in a way. So there you go. See? That kind of sparked something. Anyway, just a quick little video. I'm just playing around in EQ, and I hope you get to play some more, too. Thanks.